Hi everyone, in this video I'll talk about the Palmer notation system. In this video I'll discuss the Palmer notation system for both the deciduous and the permanent dentitions with examples. Palmer notation system is also referred as the Zygmondi system. In this notation system, we use alphabets for the deciduous teeth and we use numbers for the permanent teeth. The Palmer notation system consists of some symbols that we have to use together with the alphabets or number. For example, the first symbol, it indicates the maxillary right quadrant. The second symbol, it indicates the maxillary left quadrant. The third symbol indicate the mandibular right quadrant and this one in the last one it indicate indicate the mandibular left quadrant. Now we will discuss the Palmer notation system for the deciduous dentition. In the Palmer notation system we use capital alphabets that starts from the midline. This is A that indicate the maxillary right central incisor till E that indicate the maxillary right second molar. Same alphabets are used in the left maxillary quadrant and same alphabets are in the mandibular quadrant. So in order to identify individual tooth, we use these symbols together with the alphabets. This symbol indicate the maxillary right quadrant. The second symbol, it indicate the maxillary left quadrant. This third symbol, it indicate the mandibular left quadrant and this symbol, it indicate the mandibular right quadrant together with each alphabets. Together with, the, together with these alphabet, we use these symbols in order to identify, in order to represent each individual tooth. Now we will do some exercise on the deciduous dentition. So this is a complete deciduous dentition, 10 teeth in the upper arch and 10 in the lower arch. This red line, it indicates a midline. This is a right side and this is a left side. Now, we will, now the maxillary right canine, this tooth is the maxillary right canine. So in the Palmer notation system, the number, the alphabet that is used for this tooth is C. But this C is used with a symbol and we use the symbol because it is the canine of the right side in, in the maxillary arch. Now, maxillary left second molar this tooth is the maxillary left second molar, this tooth. This is central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first molar and the second molar. So for this tooth, we use this tooth is A, B, C, D and E. So we will write E over here in the capital letters. together with a symbol and we will use this symbol and the symbol indicate the maxillary arch of the left side. Now the mandibular right central incisor. This tooth is the mandibular right central incisor. So for the mandibular right central incisor or for any of the central incisor, we use alphabet that is A. And A is for all the central incisor, but in order to distinguish it from the other central incisor, we use this symbol. That indicate the, a mandibular arch but a mandibular teeth of the right side. Now we will discuss the Palmer numbering system for the permanent dentition. So in the permanent dentition, each tooth is numbered and the numbers, they start from the midline. 
from 1 to 8 in each arch. In the maxillary right side, the numbers start with 1 with the maxillary right central incisor till 8 for the maxillary right third molar. Similar is for the left maxillary arch and the similar numbers are given in the mandibular arch. One is for the mandibular right, mandibular left central incisor till 8 that is for the mandibular left third molar. So in order to represent each arch, each quadrant, we use these symbols that this symbol it indicate the maxillary right quadrant. The second symbol it indicate the maxillary left quadrant. This third symbol it indicate the mandibular left quadrant and this symbol indicate the mandibular right quadrant. Now we will do some exercise of the palmar notation system on the permanent dentition. So this is the complete permanent dentition. This is the maxillary arch, maxillary complete arch of the permanent teeth and this is the complete mandibular teeth, permanent teeth. So there are 16 teeth in the upper arch. This, this is a set of 16 teeth and the mandibular arch there are 16 teeth, 8 in each quadrant. This is one quadrant, this is the right maxillary quadrant, this is a left maxillary quadrant, this, this is the left mandibular and this is a right mandibular quadrant. So there are 8 teeth in each quadrant, 16 in the complete maxillary arch and 16 in the mandibular arch. Now uh, the right maxillary central incisor, this is a maxillary arch and this is the maxillary right central incisor. So in the Palmer notation system, we give this tooth a number and that number is basically is number 1. And now 1 is used for, for every central incisor whether it is in the maxillary arch or whether it is a mandibular central incisor. In order to distinguish it from the rest of the central incisor, we draw a symbol and we use this symbol. And this in, it indicate that it is a central incisor. The one indicate a central incisor and this symbol it indicate that it is of the maxillary right quadrant. It is the central incisor of the maxillary right quadrant. Now the left central incisor. This is this tooth is the left maxillary central incisor. And now we number it as one because the numbers start from the midline and we call it as number one we now in order to distinguish it from the right side we draw a symbol and we draw this symbol that indicate that it is a central incisor maxillary central incisor of the left side now uh, left mandibular first molar this tooth is the left mandibular first molar. This is central incisor, lateral canine, first premolar, second premolar and the first molar of the left side. Now the number of this tooth will be, the numbers start from the line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will write six over here now six is used for all the mandibule all the first molars now in order to distinguish it from the rest of the first molars from the maxillary and the mandibular arch of the other side we will draw a symbol and we draw this symbol that indicate that it is of the mandibular arch and in the mandibular arch this tooth is on the left side now it is very important that you should have an idea or, or, or you should have a clear idea of an individual tooth morphology because sometimes you have to number tooth in case of the deciduous dentition, in case of the mixed dentition or in case of missing tooth. So individual tooth morphology is very important in order to a number in order to number a tooth. Thank you very much for watching.